Let, let's talk about your, your new initiative, Wealth GPT. Kind of when did you get started? What was the, uh, the muse or what even made you think that this is something of, of interest for advisors? And I was talking to advisors, um, a couple of which were doing the same thing and were curious and they were asking me questions. Like if somebody wanted to do this, um, would it work? And then how could we make it really easy for an advisor to uh, to do it and get the sort of output that they want from it? So I literally spent a couple months just playing around with all these different scenarios where I thought an advisor could get value from mm -hmm. ChatGPT. From there, I put together a prototype um, I tested it out with a team that I that I brought on board just to see that it would work. And this leverages the APIs that ChatGPT publishes and, um, and it worked. People are essentially going to learn, be able to leverage um, your learning and then all the people that are in your pilot program as well. So and I've been around a lot of solutions that end up in the hands of advisors is how do we take the tech out of it for advisors? Mm -hmm. Wealth Management GPT was really built with the thought that an advisor could go in, use it with little or no training, go through a couple of steps, click a button, and within a few seconds get, get some results. As an advisor, I don't have an hour to spend on this because I have other things that are a priority, but yeah. do I... Do I have 10 minutes to go into wealth management GPT and have it maybe help me with something today? Yeah, yeah. sure. I got 10 minutes to do that. What are kind of the 10 things or activities that an advisor could um, do with wealth GPT? These are the 10 templates that we started out with. There were about 20 that we um, had listed out, but these were the 10 that I thought would resonate the most, would be the easiest to use. You know, create a blog we'll call it inflation. I want to create a 500 word blog. Most of my clients are Gen X generation. And this is something that we've done in a lot of these templates, which is uh, the financial literacy level. What this filter actually is bringing back a response in this case at a second grade level to help clients who don't know anything about wealth management really understand the the response that comes back. Yeah, that's really clever. I mean, that's not something I think I would have maybe necessarily thought of on my own. Um, but you also build it flexible. So let's say I'm an advisor that maybe maybe I'm I'm really more focused on centers of influence, right? Maybe I want that financial literacy level to be a little bit higher. I want to show that hey, I'm a real expert in estate planning or something like that, and I'm going to go talk to some attorneys. Well, they don't want to see a second grade level; they want to see something that's higher. So, kind of just yeah, advanced. <laughs> yeah, so think, yeah. So, so you mentioned that you've got a, a quite a few people in, in pilot with this product. What are what are some of the early feedback you you've received? Uh, from people using the product? Some of the early feedback um, has been around the compliance aspects. One big enhancement that we're making right now is um, we have the list of the, you know, what someone terms the forbidden words from a FINRA and SEC. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so we're yeah. going to put a filter on top of any results that come back from ChatGPT to eliminate those words completely. At enterprise firms, they have mechanisms by which these approvals take place. And so, you know, we want to build some conduits to automatically send, you know, if somebody creates mm. a blog at a particular broker dealer and they have a workflow for approving content that might go out to a client, we want to have an automatic way so the advisor doesn't have to do anything. It automatically just goes into that workflow and, and gets approved or not approved for that. So if somebody's interested and they want to kind of get their hands on WealthGPT, what is the best way for them to reach out to you and get involved with the pilot? Yeah, best, best thing to do, if you know me, feel free to email me or text me or reach out to me on LinkedIn. Um, otherwise, you can go to wealthmanagementgpt.com and there's a contact us form just below the fold uh, that you can enter your information and we'll get it and we'll get you set up immediately. Like I said before, we're not 
there's no training classes. I'm probably not going to have someone call you. I'm not going to call you myself. We'll just get you up and running. And uh, we'll, again, would love the feedback. Awesome. Hey, Mark, thank you so much for spending some time this morning telling us about your new product, Wealth GPT, with Mark Butler. Thank you. Jeff, thank you very much. I appreciate the time.